What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we're learning how to create this really very simple subscribe button inside of Premiere Pro for all your videos. It's meant to be simple because this may not be your thing and you need something really quick. Let's make it. Now, if you don't want to create the subscribe button, feel free to download it from the description below. It's my free gift to you in hopes for your free gift to me by subscribing to my channel. Awesome, thanks. And right before we get started, I wanna introduce you to a good friend of mine, Murray Frost, who also has a YouTube channel dedicated to tutorials and animation, very similar to mine. So if you are interested in creating a more advanced subscriber animation all inside of After Effects, feel free to check out his video in the link below. Here's a quick preview. What's up guys, my name is Murray, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to take a look at this subscribe button right over here, how I kinda of created it. Also, it's a free download for you guys. He's a great guy, so be sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. So you have a new sequence inside of Premiere Pro. First things first, you need to create a color mat by right clicking in your project panel and going new item color mat or clicking this little new icon and going to color mat. This is where you click okay and you choose the color you want of your color mat. I'm gonna to go to red because it's the subscribe color. Now we'll drag this color mat into our timeline. Let's we'll squeeze our timeline down real quick, stretch it out just a little bit, give us like an eight second color mat. Now we're gonna crop this color mat down. So go to effects inside of Premiere Pro and then type crop. Drop it down to here, like so. Now go to effect controls inside of Premiere Pro and take the top down and the bottom up. And you can make it as large as you want to. Mine's gonna be about this big. Next, we need to add text to this. Now click the type tool inside of Premiere Pro, click on the screen, and type subscribe. Now once you've typed out subscribe, click the effect controls, and you can change the font from here. So use this text subscribe thing. I'm gonna use Futura, which is the same font that I used before. And I'm gonna center this up by clicking the center right here, centering this, and then centering the motion tag by clicking these little arrow things. And now I can move this down using the motion tag because it's in the center now and put it right there. Now from here, I can go back to color mat and I can crop the right and the left side to my desired crop. So let's do 35 and 35. Little less, let's do 30 and 30. Nice wide subscribe button. From here, I can stretch out the layer for subscribe. Now to put these together to make them one shape, what you'll do is you'll highlight these two layers, right click and click nest. Call this sub button. Now it's a single shape on screen. Now we need to create the animation of it going up and off screen. Normally you would use your motion tag inside of effect controls, but we're not gonna use that today. We're gonna go to effects and then type transform. So it's under distort onto here. Now, same as before, go to your effect controls. On your transform, we can actually keyframe the position by click clicking this little stopwatch. Go back in time and scroll it down. Moving the keyframe a little forward, we want it to move pretty quickly. Keyframe again one more time by clicking this little add keyframe and then do the same thing before and move it off screen. Now what we wanna do is right click the keyframe, go to temporal interpolation, go to ease out. On this one, ease in. Ease out, ease in. That makes it kind of a nice smooth animation. Now once you've eased in and eased out all these keyframes, you can click down on this little arrow to see the graph of the animation. And as you can see, um, animation's pretty smooth. Um, it stays on screen for a little too long. Maybe we can move these back and it goes off screen. It looks pretty nice so we can kind of close down this layer to there but I wanna make this animation a little more dynamic. That's why we opened up this graph. So we can actually click on each keyframe and pull in the little graph anchor points to create a more dynamic animation, just like so. Stays on screen, moves off screen. It looks really nice. Now. The whole reason we use the transform effect in the first place and not just using the position tag is because under transform, you can actually add motion blur um, onto your animation. So if we go right here and actually turn this shutter angle up to, let's say 360, you'll see a good bit of motion blur on this motion now. So it actually looks like that. 
Now I would normally choose 180, but I chose 360 just so you can kind of see the example very visibly. And that is how you create this simple little subscribe animation inside of Premiere Pro. So, as always, I'm Max. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. It's very much appreciated. And until next time, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.